Ben will be hopeful of actually getting 90 minutes completed against Aberdeen this time. Yeah, I'd like to think so. Um, I've heard there's been warns of winds, high speed winds, so hopefully that will not happen. But yeah, 90 minutes and looking forward to the game. So obviously, with it, with it being so tight in the portion of the league that you're in, how much could a win against a, a kind of top side do for you, not only in the points, but confidence and so on? Oh, it'd be massive. We, we need the three points, to be honest. Um, it'd be a nice early Christmas present for the club. But we've just got to play our, our best, really, and we've shown what we can do in like the first half against Celtic. We just, I thought we were quality that game, and we've just got to carry on progressing and keeping the momentum and playing that for the full games. Has that become the sort of blueprint, certainly here, as to what you need to try and, and that level you need to try and get to every home game? Yeah, we've got to be at our best, there's no doubt about it, and um, we've got to make this our fortress, really, and hopefully keep all the clean sheets we can. So this will be your first game against Aberdeen, teams haven't met this season, have you been able to kind of garner any thoughts or information on them so far? Well, apart from the 10 minutes of the week yeah. up the road, um, we have a look at little clips and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's, it's you against the man on the field, so you've just got to win your battles. Was those 10 minutes enough to gauge anything from the way Aberdeen played? Nah, I don't think it could have been, to be honest. Um, a few long balls, a few misplaced passes, but it was a... They've got some st strong physical uh, centre-forwards, aren't they? Forwards, you know, is that something that you, you, know, you relish those kind of challenges? Yeah, that's a challenge, and that's why I'm here. I look forward to them battles, and hopefully I can come out on top. What have you made of the season so far in general? It's been good. I'm enjoying it, and but when it comes to points, it's been a bit frustrating, like losing the odd game or conceding late on for a draw. So we just, like I said before, we've just got to um, keep the momentum going and hopefully keep clean sheets and get them three points on the board. Have you thought of uh, what you're doing yourself for the winter break? Is there any plans in place? No, no nothing really. Just keep working hard in between, keep my fitness up, and. Hopefully come back, and same or left. And he's gone somewhere, or he's get a few weeks break, or what is the actual situation? To, to be honest, I don't know the, the full plan, or possibly a week off, I don't know, to be honest. So, let's see how it goes, could be training. I think the manager said a few weeks ago he was he wanted to you know, play specific attention on to conceding less goals. You know, it worked at home with Kilmarnock, but obviously couldn't get one at the other end. Does that, does that involve anything different for you? Have you guys had to change what you've been doing in order to sort of tighten up at the back? Um, it's not really, it's just it's all the way the game goes really and um, we've just got to keep focusing on trying to keep the clean sheets because we have conceded too many goals, especially for my liking, so we've just got to sit together and hopefully marshal the lads in front of us as well to block the passes and then when they get it, push up the field and hopefully get the goals. Quite often in the last few weeks you've you know, maybe played a back three, a back four, even different players, certainly left back. What's that been like for you, who yourself is obviously still perhaps getting used to the team and the league and so on? Yeah, it's just it's part of the game really, you've changed formations and stuff, new players coming in, but all the players are good enough here to fill in the spaces, so it's good for them to get the opportunity and I think they've done well when they've come in. There's been a lot of focus on uh, the youth team at Motherwell in the last week especially. Uh, what have you made of the young guys coming through? Well, I think they're all very good lads and there's a lot of potential there and I think if they keep playing the way they're playing, especially with the under twenties, well, I think it was nine one the other night, which is ridiculous. <laughs> so hopefully they can bring that into the first team. The used guys get to train them, or do they get to train the used on a regular basis? Yeah, there's a lot of them who do come up and train with us, so that's good for them. It's it's good learning, and they deserve the chance, no doubt about it. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.